YouTube. An online sharing platform headquartered in San Bruno, California, was founded on February 14, 2005. It started as a platform where people mostly shared their home videos and it developed to what it is now, a multi-billion dollar corporation. There is a number of genres on YouTube, from beauty to DIY and even cooking videos. However, this video will focus on one of the fastest developing genres there is, travel videos. Travel videos were most probably inspired by travel content on television by observing both television's travel documentaries and travel series to YouTube's travel videos and vlogs, two elements that were adopted from television the most were montage editing and narration. Montage editing is super popular in travel videos on YouTube. From sandy beaches to slow motion car drives, they create a sense of time stopping and they enchant the viewer. Narration on the other hand is more popular in travel vlogs as it connects the montages and helps create a better sense of time in these videos. Narration is, as said before, most common in travel vlogs. Creators use the form of voiceover narration. Imagine a country tucked away from the rest of the world, hidden in the Himalayas, left to its own devices to develop in unique and incredible ways that made sense for not only its own culture, but also for its entire ecosystem. Some or direct address narration. Both of these narrations help establish the concept of the video as well as they help the viewer get a sense of time. Yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel! Hi everyone! <laughs> that was a good shoot we never <laughs> We are off to Bora Bora to celebrate Nate's birthday! Yay. Direct address narration is used more or less in travel series on television, whereas on YouTube it helps to create a timeline so the viewer can easily follow the whole travel, as well as it helps link the montages and creates a more harmonious flow throughout the video. What's up guys? It's Emma. Oh wait, I should probably keep that on. What's up guys? It's Emma and it's 3.30 a.m. and I'm f***ing tired. But we have fun stuff planned so you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta get up early to do what you love. Okay, we are out here in Paris. We're currently in Le Marais and we're going to just check it out. Hopefully at the Rift, get some good food. And then my friends are flying in to join us. Let's check it out. Voiceover narration is often seen in travel documentaries on television and is used both in TV and YouTube content to establish the concept of the video as well as it helps navigate through the video. Finally, it was time to depart. First stop, the Arctic Circle. After spending three days in Bhutan, I was blown away by what I had learned. But I also think it's safe to say that I only scratched the surface of understanding how this country truly operates. There's a surprising combination of cultural, political, and ecological factors that allows Bhutan to exist the way it does. After analyzing both television and YouTube travel content, I can firmly say that montages are extremely popular in both. Through the use of montages, both directors and creators can easily summarize large amounts of content. Even though the genre of travel videos on YouTube did adopt some elements such as narration and editing from television, the platform offers aspects that television does not. Creators can now directly communicate with their viewers under their comment section. The more personalized style of videos also allows a more personal address to the audience. Another thing with travel videos on YouTube is that they are often more honest and show good and bad experiences of traveling, which can help other potential travelers as well. Some would say YouTube started a new era of broadcasting. 
Television is slowly being replaced by online platforms such as YouTube and Netflix, and who knows what the future will bring.